Easy there, Dumb and Dumber. Why are you two not in class? Well, actually, we need to speak with you. We need to talk to you about something important. I have something very important to tell you. Get to class. Is he serious? Look, drop the act right now. We made observations on how you've been treating the students around here, and me and him decided that you need to go. Now get out before I make you. I don't think two sophomores have any sort of jurisdiction over a professional bully, I mean, hall monitor, appointed by the administration above everyone else. Now please do us all a favor and get to class. No, he's right. You've been harassing the students for far too long, and your reign of terror needs to come to an end. I literally had to walk miles and miles to school because you took my freaking car. Stop! How do you propose you will get rid of me in such a straightforward manner? Well, that's the thing. Me and him made a friendly little competition to decide your fate. If we win, you go. And, um, um, the make like a tree and, duh, you, you get it. I am so vastly superior to all of you in everything that I do. What could possibly suffice for an adequate challenge? I'm glad you asked. We're going to have a rock, paper, scissors match in about a week. It's going to be totally legit. We're even going to have Mr. Rust officiate it. That is so asininely moronic and trivial that it does not surprise me whatsoever that you two were the morons that came up with it. That sounds like something Brady Baker would make up. And that guy is a moron. Speaking of Brady, he's participating in the competition as well. Tons of us are. I am a man of honor, and seeing as I will smoke all of you with both hands tied behind my back, I have no choice but to accept your challenge and defeat all of you squarely. How are you going to beat us at rock, paper, scissors when you have no hands? We should probably. And no running. I gave you one stipulation. Morons.